What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So I wanted to go ahead and continue. Now that I got started with this, I want to continue it now. I want to go ahead and continue with this uh, Stars Who Treat Their Fans Like Crap series. But this particular video, it's not so much that Sean Penn treats his fans like crap. That's the, the main thing, even though there were incidences. One of them that I recall... It happened about 10 years ago at a hotel where a fan tried to snap a picture of him. He reacted very angrily. Uh, Sean Penn, uh, the Flash, uh, it angered him. He told the fan, do we look like fucking zoo animals to you? He broke his uh, camera, uh, broke his phone, and told the guy, I should shove this camera down your fucking throat. He then went to management uh, complaining about the guy. But this is one instance where the star treatment didn't work. Obviously, uh, management had saw his behavior and actually asked the fan, who was actually a high-profile guest at the at the hotel, did you want to press charges against Sean Penn? Now, ultimately, maybe because the guy was scared out of his fucking wits, he decided not to press charges. But that was the incident where that backfired. Um, and also, there was an incident, you might recall this, where his son um, got into it with a paparazzi who was a black guy. And he called the paparazzi a homophobic slur and the N-word. Ultimately, his son apologized. I don't think Sean Penn ever s spoke out about what his son said. But you got to wonder, you know, where did he get that from? You know, you know where did he get that language from? Now, having said that, I want to segue into something else. Um, I can't prove that it's Sean Penn, but there has been <clears throat> a long-standing rumor that there is an A-list actor who has refused to act in movies with black co-stars. He's very, very racist. I think they said that... Um, there was one film that he'd done where uh, he acted with a black co-star and it really infuriated him to do so. Um, now, as far as the rumors, there have been two actors that have popped up. One of them was Charlie Sheen. <clears throat> the other one was Sean Penn. I don't think it's Charlie Sheen. I don't think it's Charlie Sheen. I remember Charlie Sheen did Nothing to Lose with Chris Tucker, and I don't think Chris Tucker ever has said anything negative about Charlie Sheen. And I think there's some other films that Charlie Sheen has done with black co-stars. So uh, I don't think it's Charlie Sheen. I suspect it is Sean Penn. Um, I cannot recall Sean Penn ever doing a movie with a black co-star. Uh, maybe someone can enlighten me. Maybe I'm incorrect. Uh, I haven't seen all his movies, obviously, but I just can't recall a movie where any of his main co-stars were black. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to think. Maybe there were, um, but they said it was one where he did, and he was very hostile toward that actor. You know, it makes me think, you know, it sounds like the days of Jimmy Stewart and shit. But anyway, I never questioned his skill as an actor. Sean Penn is a brilliant actor. Uh, I believe he's won two Oscars. I, I think the first one was for Mystic River. And I know the second one was for, was for Milk, where he portrayed um, gay rights advocate and uh, politician uh, Harvey Milk, who was assassinated back in 1978, I believe. Um, good movie. Now, look, I know some people can be like, well, Mike, how could he be a racist? And he's a far left, you know, ideologue. Like he's very liberal. But I've always told people that there are a lot of people who are left of center in a lot of their politics and they still have, you know, they feel some type of way about black people. Um, look, a lot of the people that were, for instance, uh, part of the old South, 
the, the, the solid South, you know, the, the white supremacists, a lot of them politically were liberal. Huey Long. <clears throat> Huey Long, his politics were, in many ways, very left of center, especially so, uh, economically. Um, he was damn near of a, a socialist. But, generally speaking, he was considered to be a white supremacist. So, it's deeper than a lot of people want to admit. But anyway, not to make this about politics, going back to Sean Penn. Um, let's talk about some of these incidences that he's had, man. Um, back in the 80s, there was a situation where he assaulted a photographer. <laughs> um, there was an incident where when he was, I think, either dating Madonna or about to marry her, there was a friend of hers that he was very jealous of, that he assaulted. Um, there was an incident that occurred when he was filming Colors that he assaulted an extra, punched him in the face, right? There was also an incident that occurred in 1987. Now, I have to... I have to add to this that since then, Madonna and Sean Penn have denied that the following situations have occurred. However, um, eyewitnesses say, uh, looking at the injuries, the doctor trips, that this did occur. But because I think Sean, uh, Madonna loves Sean Penn, is concerned about protecting him, she has never publicly admitted that these things have occurred. She's denied it. Although the evidence shows that these things did happen. In 1987, Sean Penn allegedly assaulted Madonna with a baseball bat. Okay? Then, he had a, dr a drunk driving and reckless endangerment charge. And uh, in 1987, Sean Penn, uh, later that year, was sentenced to serve 60 days in jail. The Daily Mail argued the incident with Madonna, Madonna occurred after Penn had received his prison sentence. As such, the reason she didn't file an official complaint over the alleged incident because her husband was already heading to jail and she didn't want to get him into any more trouble. Penn ended up only serving 33 days and was allowed to leave during the middle of it to film a movie in Germany at the end of the 33 days. He was released into his wife's arms only for her to throw him out of a taxi a few hours later after yet another uh, incident occurred. Uh, violent arguments were assaulting, uh, exhausting for everyone involved, but Madonna hesitated to admit that the marriage had failed. Um, then there was the incident that occurred December 28th, 1989. According to a report filed by Madonna with the Malibu, Malibu Sheriff's Office, Penn scaled the wall surrounding the Malibu house in the late afternoon of December 28th, 1989 and found Madonna alone in the master bedroom. The two began to quarrel. Penn told her to he owned her lock, stock, and barrel. When she told him she was leaving the house, he tried to bind her hands with an electric lamp and cord. Screaming and afraid, Madonna fled from the bedroom. What followed was a nine-hour ordeal, which left her deeply shaken. Penn chased her into the living room, caught her, and bound her to a chair with heavy twine. Then he threatened to cut off her hair. According to the police report, Penn was drinking liquor straight from the bottle, and the abuse went on for several hours, during which time he smacked and roughed up his victim. He went out to buy more alcohol, leaving Madonna bound and gagged. Some hours later, he returned to continue his attacks. Madonna said that he untied her after she agreed to perform a degrading sex act on him. She then fled the house and ran to her car, 
Penn ran after her and was banging on the windows of her Thunderbird while she spoke to police on her mobile phone. Fifteen minutes later, she staggered into the, to the sheriff's office. Lieutenant Bill McSweeney said, I hardly recognized her as Madonna. She was weeping, her lip was bleeding, and she had obviously been struck. Penn was taken away in handcuffs and charged with inflicting corporal injury and traumatic conditions on her, as well as committing battery. Madonna reportedly filed for divorce a week later, dropping any assault charges and moved on from her husband turned torturer turned ex. Now, of course, this happened a long time ago. So, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> he benefited from doing this in the time period that he did it. But you can get away with that shit. Now, in a time period of social media, it, it, it just would be too much. That would be too much. I only think the complexion for protection would have protected him today. But then there are other incidents. Um, there was an incident where he hung a gentleman, I say gentleman, upside down from, what, the ninth story of a building when he was on a drunken stupor back in the early 90s. Other incidences where he assaulted people. Um, I mean, just a lot of different things with the paparazzi and throughout the 90s. It's a lot of other incidences that have occurred sporadically, but those were the major ones. And um, a lot of incidences where fans have approached him, and if, unless he's in a controlled setting and sober, chances are that he would be an asshole to you, either verbally or at times physically. So yeah, this is the guy that definitely should have had a video made about him a long time ago. Sean Penn. One of the biggest assholes in the history of cinema.